All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the newest acquisition of LRW Wrestling, Mr. Joshua Lonergan. How are you doing, Joshua? Pretty good, pretty good yourself. I'm doing fine, and I'm doing even better now that you're a member of LRW Wrestling. Uh, Joshua here. Joshua is former military, right? Yes, yep, yep. Yeah, I uh, served over with the uh, 425 Infantry Division, Airborne. So, uh, yeah. Now, Army Man, you a paratrooper? Yeah, I was actually. I was, uh, I was typically jumping out of C-17, stuff like that, just, you know, combat zones. And you were stationed in Fort Richardson, Alaska, right? Yep. Yeah, it was pretty chilly up there, so. Okay. Well, you shouldn't be too unaccustomed to the cold. You're originally from uh, Sandwich, New Hampshire, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been working on the farm. Um, originally was up there for about 10 years. Uh, just poultry and growing crops, so yeah. Okay, a farm boy worked farm, farm work for 10 years. Young man from Sandwich, New Hampshire, clean cut, all American, wholesome, former military. Uh, you had four years of theater experience, right? Yeah, yeah, I do a little bit of, of uh, theater work, uh, film work now, but uh, yeah, primarily, yeah, about four years in theater. And uh, you seem to be getting typecast as far as your film roles are concerned. Could you give me the title of some of your recent motion pictures? Yeah, uh, some of the films that I've been involved in were uh, The Devil Knocks Twice, and I think it was Calling in Demons as well, as we're working on a former project right now, which is uh, Don't Let Daisy Die. Okay, guys, The Devil Knocks Twice, Calling in Demons, and Don't Let Daisy Die. For some reason, this wholesome, clean-cut, all-American young man is being cast in these slasher films. I think they're typecasting him as some kind of villain in Hollywood, but as far as LRW is concerned, he's not going to be a villain, I guarantee. Uh, modeling. You've done some modeling for some very famous name brands. Could you give us a few of those name brands? Yeah, uh, Reebok, New Balance, and G-Star pretty recently. So. Okay, now, uh, you and I share something in common. Those of you who follow me on social media know that I have an affinity for a certain presidential candidate, and this young man does too. Who are you backing? Who do you want to see become the next president of the United States? Oh, Sanders, all the way. Feel the burn, so. He feels the burn, I feel the burn. He and I are going to get along, okay? Now, contrary to the way I got along with one of our recent inductees to LRW Wrestling, you already know who I'm talking about, right? Yeah, Chris, I believe, right? Does, uh, Kurt. Yeah, Kurt. Kurt, Kurt. Kurt Mendelson, this guy, he's from Boston. He's from the inner city, okay? And he thinks that he can defeat anybody in the wrestling federation, in this wrestling federation, anybody who is going to come into the wrestling. He probably thinks that he's going to be easily able to defeat you. What do you got to say about that? I mean, he can try. Honestly, I, I think that uh, after just seeing the way that that match just played out, um, personally, it was kind of just a shame, you know, it was kind of like very spiteful to just the wrestling matches in general. And, uh, I mean, it says a lot about who he is as a person. Exactly, exactly. As I said to him, the purpose is to win, pin the guy's shoulders in an athletic endeavor. It's not to try to injure a guy, right? Right, right. And to, just to see what he was doing to that poor guy, I mean, it, was, it honestly just pissed me off, so. Well, I'm, you know, I'm glad that you're pissed off because I want to see you pissed off because I'm going to sign you to meet that guy and I want to see you give him a little bit of a taste of his own medicine, all right? It sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. The Boston bad boy, the blind bomber against the wholesome all-American young man who was working on the farms in Sandwich, New Hampshire. Now he's embarking on a modeling career, former military. Got his red, white, and blue jacket here. Ah. Uh, just take that off for a second and show people exactly what the Boston bad boy is going to be up against. There we go. Pretty impressive. Flex. Yeah. By the way, in his modeling career, he often is compared to James Dean. I've seen some photographs where he emulates Dean. I see it going on. Iconic. This young man is iconic. This young man is a credit to LRW Wrestling. And this young man my money is on him. I hope to see him take that Boston bad boy and beat him into the ground. Best of luck to you. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome.